<clears throat> All right, uh, so let me start uh, by sharing what happened recently. And um, so not so long ago, a team of 40 mostly engineers and some young helpers were getting ready for a practice session. So what were they going to do about? So they were going to fly 300 drones simultaneously. And so here what you see, uh, each dot is a drone, something similar to what you just saw. And uh, so you can consider it as a pixel in the sky, and you can make very interesting formations with that. So whatever the testing was happening, the test videos were circulating like virus on the social media, on WhatsApp groups, and already there was an arg argument started uh, in favor and against. And it is something unusual for a team, technical team, to be in limelight. So your work is getting broadcasted on na national television. So the team was under tremendous pressure. And the pressure was not just because everybody's watching you, the pressure was also the team was going to fly 1,000 drones in less than five days. This was something unusual. Our country hasn't seen anything like that. It was going to happen on a national stage. The drones were going to take off from Rashpati Bhavan. And it will be watched live by the president of the country, prime minister of the country, among many other dignitaries. So I went to my team and I said, no big deal, no pressure, right? <laughs> we'll do it. Um, so uh, under these circumstances, uh, so I also want to share with you that less than a year ago, the same team had built just four drones, and it has learned how to fly them in perfect synchrony. And now you will say, and the team was confident of pulling the show of 1,000 drones. So you will come to me and say, that's some confidence. And going from four drones to 1,000 in less than a year, how is that possible? And so it was possible because at one year ago, the team has built its own drone, something similar to what you saw in the beginning. And when I say this drone was special because it was completely built in-house by our team. So what do you mean by built in-house? So all the components of the drone, the flight controller, the GPS, motor controller, even the casing was all designed and made by the team at IIT Delhi. So that, that confidence the team had, that it was just a problem of scaling up. So now let me take you back to January 29, 2022. It was a Saturday. Our team started early, and we did three testings during the day. And at 5 o'clock, we uh, took our drones out and put them aside. The reason for putting the drones aside was because the place where we're going to take the drones, take off, was sim same as the president of India. So he would take this path and go uh, for the ceremony. So that's why we had to remove the drones and put them aside at 5.20. President of India leaves for the ceremony. Our team runs back to the bare ground. There is nothing on the ground, and start laying the drones. The drones need to be laid in certain numbers, and they have to be separated by a given distance. So the order is very important. In less than 20 minutes, our team puts the, all the drones in the ground and runs some diagnostic test. And around at 7.30, on the command of drone on, all the drones start uh, to take off in batches. And they start making interesting formations in the sky. These formations were dominating the sky between north block and south block. And we were 
looking at them and our breath, we were holding our breath and we were just hoping them to land. So when the last drone landed on the Rashpati Bhavan, we all started screaming that we did it. We made India the fourth country in the world to have this capability. But then wait a minute, we had to also remove the drones back because now the president has to return back to his house. So just within five minutes, we took the drones out and put them aside and president could leave. So next day, we were pleasantly surprised when our work was mentioned by the Prime Minister of India, Defense Secretary, among many others. And the national media was also kind enough to refer our work. So, but here, uh, with this success story of a drone light show done indigenously by a startup from IIT Delhi, I just want to draw your attention that building hardware in India is a still a challenge because we do not have the required ecosystem. It takes much longer to design PCBs, prototyping facilities are very limited, and when it comes to scaling up, it's even a bigger challenge. So I just thought using such avenues, we can draw your attention, and uh, if you see why did we survive, there are very few examples of hardware startups making big in India because we were nurtured and protected by IIT Delhi community for more than five years. IIT Delhi has provided us shelter and guided us for the funding. Department of Science and Technology gave us the initial seed funding and Technology Development Board came to our rescue for scaling up. And when I say we made the drone in India, what does it mean? So let me just share with you when you talk about drone, it has few uh, essential components. A flight controller, which is the brain of the drone, which makes all the decisions. Then you ha the, drain, the drone needs to know where it is in the sky, so it needs a GPS. In our case, it needed a precision GPS. And then you need motor controller for controlling the propeller speed. Uh, so we built all these components in-house, and the drone is as Indian as possible. So in value, we made the 80% of value we generated in India. And the team had worked really hard in the you know, very cold winters of Delhi, testing and uh, retesting. And while we were building, we were also testing at Rashpati Bhavan, and we could. So essential component of the whole story has been the team. So while I share this, I also want to share that how it all got started for us. In 2016, a very passionate engineer from IIT Delhi, who has passion for building technology, decides to build drones. And he soon gets joined by his colleague, friend, batchmate, roommate, Anuj, uh, to, build, uh, to uh, make this startup. And even from first year, both of them were perplexed. Why, in spite of being so many IITs, why are we importing defense equipment from Russia, US, France, Israel, and among many other countries? Why was there so much dependency? And then they thought, if they build a drone-based technology for defense, probably our dependence on West could be a little bit less. And that was the resolution the bot lab was started. I, on the other hand, the other side of the campus, being a postdoctoral fellow, was wondering why were we still importing high-resolution microscopes, uh, high-grade uh, research equipment, among many other you know, uh, reagents that we buy from abroad. That was the thing, thought that was bothering me. So when three of us came together, the thought that connected us deeply was we three wanted to build something together. And in 2016, we started our journey. We were building individual drones. So the idea was to make the drone more capable, increase the flight time, increase the payload capability. And in 2018, the idea came to us that whatever a single drone can do, multiple drones can do much better. So we decided to build a fleet of 10 drones, which are capable of talking to each other and also relay the message 
to the base station. So this technology is called drone swarm technology. And we have uh, taken this technology to Indian Army, Air Force, and through a competition, we had gone uh, to Pokhran. And we realized that uh, at that time, our systems did not perform really well. And I here want to take a moment and share with you what is the difference of uh, building and assembling a system. So at that time, in 2018, we were assembling the system. What it means is we were buying the flight controller, we were buying the GPS, motor controller, and putting them together, putting our algorithms, making little bit decisions on the design. And we saw these systems were not performing as well in the harsh conditions of India. Pokhran, if you recall, can, it's very hot, dusty. 44 degrees is very natural. And the flight controller is probably made in Switzerland, where the temperatures are never that uh, high. So after coming back, we had this realization, if we assemble the system, it will never be uh, robust. You will not be able to make it do what you, it should do. So we dropped everything, and in 2019, we started building system from scratch up. And we invested quite a bit of energy in building our own flight controller, and it took roughly 15 iterations. And similarly, GPS and motor controller, it took us two years to build those four systems that I said that I had confidence about. And these four systems we knew in and out, we knew they will do what we want them to do. With those four systems, I went to the funding agency and I requested them that can we get some funding? If we put LED light, we can make a commercial model out of them. And these systems were received very positively by the funding agency, and they gave us funds to make 50 systems. And we were, uh, first thing we wrote, uh, in this sky was IIT Delhi. Then we started making 3D formations, and we started to get better and better at creating interesting formations. But being a hardware startup, uh, the funding is very limited. So the VC funding, the private funding, will be not available to hardware startups because the risk is higher, the incubation period is longer. So we had to depend on the government for scaling up efforts. And also the challenges of hardware startup is that you also do not have the desired skills. Most of engineering schools do not prepare uh, the students to work on hardware-based solutions. And uh, with these challenges, we were able to scale up to 50. We had made an interesting formations, and I put them on LinkedIn. And that formation caught eye of Ministry of Defense. And, uh, Last year in June, they approached us and they asked if we could scale this up to 1,000. We were nervous, but we took the challenge because we had confidence in the system that we built ourselves. We knew the scaling up would be not that difficult. With that challenge, within six months, we started building 1,000 systems. Now. I wish the life was fairy tale because the world and the country was going through pandemic. The supply chain has broken down. There was a shortage of chips and batteries and whatnot. Because we had the know-how in-house, we were able to redesign the entire flight controller and some part of the GPS, and we could scale it up. And I, and I think that's the moral of the story. If you have the know-how, you can make the changes at the last minute. And I would like to conclude by saying that to raise a child, you need a village. To have a successful startup, you need a healthy ecosystem. And if you look at example of Elon Musk as an individual, China as a country, they both example demonstrate successfully that time has come that India invests heavily into hardware-based solutions. Because it leads to economic independence, and also it gives you freedom to make the technology that is custom needed for your own use. With that, I would like to say thank you so much.